Are you prepared for a winter storm? Not so much prepared in your home, but prepared as far as driving on the road and being stuck. Let's say you're stuck in traffic or stuck in on the road in snow for several hours or even 24 hours. Are you prepared for that? Depending on the type of car or automobile you drive, are, are your tires prepared? Are your fluids uh, up to their limits? Do you have an extra jackets and coats? Because some places temperatures can drop. Uh, do you have like snacks in your car? I, I know a lot of people probably have snacks in their car, but you're not thinking for a storm. I mean, this is a bad diet, but it may be okay to like, you know, keep some beef jerky in your car. Uh, specifically for situations like this I do remember I'm on the road a lot and when I did live in a colder area I would have a comforter in the trunk sometimes it was in the back seat I carried a comforter it's good to have maybe a cigarette lighter uh, if you have a smaller car especially uh, driving in the snow you may want to add some weight in the trunk right Put some dumbbells back there or put something maybe not dumbbells or it could be or something heavy a trunk just something with some weight right so you don't uh, slide back and forth as much uh what else can you have uh i had i had a comforter i had a uh, bottled water i had bottled water in my car just in case for situations like that i uh, you could also have you also need a battery jumper jumper cables Let's see, maybe chains. Uh, I say lighter, maybe candles. Just something, things that you may or may not need. Uh, make sure your phone is charged. Make sure your phone is fully charged. I guess every time you get on the road, a lot of us tend not to do that. Or we just forget. You're so busy uh, with so much to do. So you're thinking, you know, you're not thinking to make sure your phone is sufficiently charged. Because you never know what you're going to be stuck in on the road. Especially those of you who commute over 45 minutes or 45 minutes or more. Uh, or you're traveling out of town maybe a couple of hours, right? It's good to have uh, that. And hey, an extra change of clothes. I used to travel with that as well. I had a backpack. With just spare clothes also in my car before I don't do it now maybe I should do it again <laughs> just in case right I had a travel toothbrush uh, toothpaste uh, some soap uh, you never know maybe it may be an emergency you may need to stop in the nearest hotel or again in your car oh I also had I also keep bottles of alcohol rubbing alcohol uh, that tends to mixing alcohol and water if you didn't know that melts ice But I also had it for say I had it mainly for sanitation, but I learned that they melt ice Mainly alcohol melts ice, but you gotta have the water so it doesn't stain uh, on the window Just for those of you who didn't know uh, Maybe it uh, maybe it does something else. I don't know somebody will know out there YouTube comments uh, are good at correcting people Let's see what else is there uh, maybe you all can come up with some other things that it's good to have in your car just in case even though we may never experience uh, a snowstorm or winter storm it's always good to just have extra things in your car uh, for circumstances where you're just stuck could be a flood somewhere maybe not exactly in Maybe not exactly where your car is, but maybe in the region, right? Maybe your car may survive. Maybe cars ahead of you may get flooded. And you just, you just may be stuck, right? You may be stuck in another town. And you have to stay overnight till things get cleared up or till the road gets cleared up. Uh, again, it's good to have that extra change of clothes. Uh, maybe some skin care things. Uh, just a small, you know, bag for necessities. Again, I mentioned toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, alcohol. Alcohol is good for cleaning too, as well. Uh, you may not have access to the shower, right? But rubbing alcohol does an okay job of cleaning and disinfecting yourself uh, when, you, when you're stuck. So you can clean certain areas on your skin. 
uh, that you know you may feel dirty it kind of carries you over a little bit uh, again I mentioned bottled water and yeah, I mean it's okay I guess have some maybe period water carbonated water um, extra pair of shoes maybe snowshoes maybe not I don't know and or a heating pad as well because there's some people I know they have been stuck in their car 24 hours and you know crackers and beef jerky they can carry over right the body can survive a while without food but not without water so your crackers beef jerky your water I know the, the guys that hunt maybe carry more things in their car or just guys with the uh, trucks as well they have tools it's good to always again be prepared because uh, you never know we never think about these things and uh, make sure all your fluids are in uh, good standing and make sure that you have your oil change make sure you have uh, maybe some de-icer uh, again referencing the alcohol is cheaper <laughs> um, but just make sure you're prepared right because I it seems to right now there are there is a lot of winter storms going on and people getting uh, some small power outages here and there and some certain road delays travel delays and uh, just make sure you get keep some little things around to help you mitigate or make it through right for, for a couple of hours I have a decent playlist uh, and there's so many things there's probably some things I missed and uh, but I would just like just wanted to touch base with this to uh, cover things that people don't think about even myself and let me know what you think uh, feel free to leave an email feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe thank you very much